In the next program, we are going to convert the given string into uppercase. So I'm using S1 as our input string. I'm asking user to enter S1 over here. And then I'm going to loop through S1 completely starting from zero till I reach null character or slash zero. And then for each character, I'm going to check whether that character is greater than small a or less than small z. So assuming our string was a, b and c, and we are required to convert this string into capital A, B and C. So because of this condition, when we are looping through this string, this character is not to be changed, but only B and C will be required to change. So we are going to check all the occurrences of small letters. So in the second iteration, this condition will be true. So what we need to do is we need to subtract value of current character minus 32. Why 32? Because ASCII value of A is equal to 65 and ASCII value of small a is 97. So if we subtract 97 by 65, we get 32. So there's a difference of 32 across all capital and small values. So if this is 65, 66, 67 and so on, then these values are 97, 98, 99 and so on. So there's always difference of 32 between small and capital letters. So that is why in order to convert current character symbols from lowercase to uppercase we are required to subtract it by 32 so this condition will be executed only when we found a small character in the string and we will convert it into an uppercase so this loop will be executed for all the values and at the end of it our resulting string will be printed as capital a b c